Now painting system. See if it works. Bear with me if the camera is uh, shaking, because I'm wearing my camera right in my on my forehead. So you are looking at me uh, painting over my forehead. Let me see if I can watch my own channel on YouTube. So. I can interact with you. I'm using another phone. Perfect. So I'm watching this on the side. That's good. Okay, so I'm looking at my own. All right. This is the painting um, I just did outside the window. As you can see, um, it's a very poetic time. If I don't do it today, those roses will be gone. Um, you can, can you see it? Okay, let me get closer to the window. There's a delay, so I have to adjust my angle. Okay, now I'm going to turn the page. I'm going to paint this roses in the wind but I'm doing it in the comfort of my um, dining room I don't have to stand in the sunshine and struggle with the wind all right and I'm using the um, western watercolor uh, with my Sumi sketchbook and I used the same tool I used outside. I could use, you know, regular watercolor brush, but I'm just used to this tool now. So let me paint the uh, uh, large rose there. Let me show you. Okay. Okay. The light is a little dim there. So let's do this. I always start from the the rose. I got some red, some uh, crimson on the same brush. And looking at the rose. So here we go. I start from the center of the flower and you can see I actually, this could be the bottom now. Uh, depends on the first stroke. I would adjust, uh, decide, you know, what to do. The next. And just finish all the load in one stroke. So you get the gradation going, you know, from dark to light automatically without a reload and I, I got some more moisture out of the handle of the, the brush now I would uh, reload a little bit dark maybe uh, it's in the you know some some uh, let me show you the flower I'm looking at you see it okay the one on the left is what uh, my model is. Okay. You know, I cannot hesitate, obviously. It's a very uh, absorbent paper. It's a rice paper. It's not made of rice. I got a complaint today from a customer in New Jersey or somewhere, the East Coast. Uh, she bought the paper and want to return, saying the paper is not made in uh, of rice. Uh, I told her that uh, the rice paper is made of straw of rice, not the grain of rice, and with some other fibers like the cotton and the um, chintan bark. But she did, you know, she just insisted that she, she's just looking for rice paper. It's not made of rice. 
and maybe just the excuse she think the paper is too 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 thin or something. Uh, she's probably from India from the accent and she's probably looking for that kind of thick mulberry paper or handmade paper. I don't know what exactly she's looking for. Uh, anyway, just the rice paper. The rice paper sketchbook. Let me get to very close so while I'm doing this. I usually vary this, the height, although the two flowers are very identical. I want to make uh, this one the host and this one the, the guest. So I might do this just, you know, uh, I can select the flowers. I like the, the half flower I did earlier, but the, maybe uh, I do this one next to it, just in a lighter tone because it's a more uh, off my focus, I think. Try to do it more abstract in a sense. Uh, I don't want to reload the brush because uh, uh, I'm going to change the color, so try to exhaust it. I uh, just got some water there. Uh, clean the brush. I try to concentrate on this whole uh, the contour, the shape, the form of uh, the shape of the whole flower, and I leave some some uh, unpainted white space there. And I don't really worry about the light. It's going to change. I, I try to grab, uh, capture the essence. The essence is structure, not the light. But you know, I can leave some flying white. That's what we call the the yan or the, the light. If you and the shady part is the yin, in a sense. But there's no single source of light. And one dark, one light. It's also a contrast. Um, let's take a look at the whole model there. Okay. So now I would I'll save that brush. Maybe I need that. So I just use another brush for the leaves or stems. Um, I just uh, load some uh, brown, gray kind of some dark, dark uh, ultramarine and some crimson that mix uh, to resemble ink for the stem. Okay, so I uh, usually have to decide where the petal uh, is coming from. They come from the same root, of course. So it radiates from the same root. I don't have to do the root, right? but I keep that in mind. And then uh, you can do this later, actually, after the leaves, if you will. Now I paint the leaves with the green, blue, and some red. I think mix. Don't don't mix. Just uh, uh, combine. So I'm more cons concerned with the cl cluster uh, of the leaf, not individual leaves. One, two, three, four, five, I think. But on the top, there's only three. Very suggestively. And some more dark. I try to use the color screen to contrast with this pale uh, pink. So Some leaves under the flower.
dense and the sparse contrast. Some, you know, the dense part should be really dense and sparse. Create the rhythm. Again, you're watching my painting through a head cam by wearing uh, above my forehead. You can go to Facebook to see a working picture that Victoria took earlier when I was painting outside. Okay, now I will do some more. Maybe but you can see in front of me there. There's a but, right? Okay, this is what I do. Got some water out, some uh, red and the root. <clears throat> you can you can um, arrange the composition according to your need. So the butt is on this side. Uh, well, I call that. Just do a triangular shape. Some uh, petals on the other side. Okay, and leave some, leave space between strokes. You don't have to. Uh, I just you know calligraphic, so to speak. There's a f kind of formula, style guide, uh, style lies the formula uh, in Chinese painting. I, when, when I do, you know, do uh, life painting, I try to follow the natural uh, as my teacher. But uh, you should study the, from ancient or from a contemporary artist uh, to learn the strokes. So you, you can take uh, my class number five or number six, uh, six, I think, uh, roses uh, for the basic strokes. I have a handout with the strokes. Those are very important. You know, the, the, it's the group of uh, leaves is more important. OK, don't forget the thorns. So. My my dark cafe is uh, asking for dinner now, so I better go finish. Um, so that that's uh, uh, three you know parents with a child. I, I will say uh, you can have some more uh, you know like a, a younger, but I I would add a little. On the background, I'll just leave the blank for po poem or title inscriptions. Let me just do a little. On this side, yes. the leaves uh, is very close to the young flower, but. So you, you really learn when you observe nature. And it, the distance getting uh, more uh, longer between the flower and the leaves it should be. And there's no thorn on the last uh, section, all right? OK. I would stuff and uh, uh, I think about a title maybe write the inscription um, this is not a, a painting is my journal so you don't have to finish some paintings you have seen it's not compositional uh, finish it's just my journal my my sketches my inspiration for uh, paintings later you can get this book from blueheronarts.com. Um, it's a very handy book, and you can keep it in your, in your uh, luggage when you travel. It's very easy to carry, and all you need to do is, uh, you know, just water brush it, ink cake, and a little travel palette. Okay.
thank you for watching and uh, let me know if you have any questions and comments if you like it i'll keep doing this uh, with my headphone uh, head uh, can bye bye until next time